Hello and welcome to this new video about the new strip uh, that I've managed to complete here. If you have seen the previous video, you've seen that I've worked to prototype uh, the new strip migrating from the Atmel platform to the uh, microchip Atmel platform to the uh, SD1. Uh, uh, then I have designed uh, a new uh, schema and a new uh, PCB, which I've managed to be to have uh, uh, produced and delivered by a market manufacturer. You can see it here in all its glory. And there you go. And then I've populated the PCB with all the needed components. You can see it here. There you go. You have the motorized feather with the uh, PCB, PC interface. I think this is the name. Uh, motor control, shift register, the MCU. Here you have the only two connectors needed, which is the power and the uh, 9 volts and the UART uh, connectivity, and then some other uh, shift register there. On the other side, there are all this momentary switch here. There is a mo uh, the rotary encoder, and there are all the LEDs that you that you see here. In terms of the uh, surface here, you, uh, I have printed this with my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Uh, one thing that I want to highlight is that I've managed to print here with the transparent uh, um, uh, filament together with the red one that you are seeing in order to simulate the glass covering all the LED slots. And I have to say that the result is really perfect. It's really amazing. It brings up the lights, you see, at the surface level and it's really great and perfect. Uh, uh, I have done the same here on the rotary encoder ring. Here you can see the transparent filament. Uh, and then if you've seen the, uh, the previous video, I've printed also this cap, uh, these caps for uh, the momentary switch, again in two colors, uh, with, the, with, the, with the bamboo lamp. Uh, I've also printed uh, the, uh, the box here for the uh, strip. Uh, uh, I managed to uh, do it, I don't know if, it's, if it is visible, but I managed to do it with an ascendant degree in order to increase the, say, ergonomic effect. I have to say that the result is really exciting, I'm very happy, uh, and I'm going to show you uh, uh, working in, in, in a moment. As usual, before to start the demo, I really would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel in order to support my work. Uh, uh, to give a thumbs up to the video if you like it and to hit the bell to stay tuned. So let's go. You see here our usual track on Cubase. Let's run it. And there you go. You can see clearly here the effects that I was mentioning before on the meter bar. It's really perfect. Then, as usual, if we record some automation, sorry, there you go. It's the rotary encoder. Check the light ring. I I love it. I mean. The effect is really great. The same here if we record some automation on the mute. And there you go. Let's see it on the run. I love the effect, it's really exactly what I was looking for, so I'm very happy and I'm very excited for, uh, for the results. A note also on my printer, the uh, Bamboo Lab, I mean, uh, I know that there are a lot of video around talking about this, but let me join the uh, uh, general opinion, it's really a great, great printer. So there you go. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy of this uh, new step. Next one, I am going to uh, probably to print a bigger uh, um, uh, cover. 
here uh, for a couple of channels as you can see I'm forced to print in two pieces because this is 33 centimeters and it's too much for my printer so I need to print a first piece of 20 centimeter and another one of 13 and then I join with internal joints again printed with a printer that works perfectly and with some screw in order to put together everything so uh, uh, I'll see you in the next video where I will try to uh, to uh, add some more uh, some more channel uh, and for the moment I thank you uh, for your attention and see you